is widespread damage in Mercer County today after that tornado touched down in that area Sunday. A lot of people still without power as well, and there were injuries. Yeah, Two News reporter Dana Smith is joining us live now with a look at restoration efforts. Yeah, that's right, Mark and Brooke. Uh, these crews right here behind me are actually working to restore power to the businesses and homes that were hit by the storm. Debris litters the ground in Salina after strong winds tore the roofs off buildings. The wind sent utility poles and power lines crashing to the ground, cutting off power to thousands at the height of the storm. Officials say the storm hit homes and farms out in the country before tearing through the city's business district. Community members are banding together to help clean up. It's mostly uh, high school teachers and students from all uh, grades out here to help just clean up the community and uh, get this done as fast as possible so everybody can get back to their jobs and stuff like that. Authorities began reopening roads today and started the process of restoring power to those affected. The mayor said around 90% of people have had their lights turned back on. We realize that there are people that are without power right now and as the weather drops, we are concerned about it. Our staff and the utility office continue to make those calls back to check on them. If there are folks that need assistance, we definitely want you to call uh, as we will also be calling back to check on you. And yeah, what you're looking at right now, these crews are continuing to get some of these new lines up. Now, this pole right here that they're working on, this was one of the utility poles that had actually been flattened by the strong, significant winds that swept through this area. And they got it up pretty quickly, and they're working now on replacing a lot of these lines so that power can be restored to a lot of the businesses in this area. Now, Dominion Energy, they also had to cut gas to a lot of places in this area, and the mayor says that they're still assessing the damage, and they're working as quickly as possible to make sure they get electricity and gas turned on to everyone in the area. Reporting live, Dana Smith, 5 on 2.